So unfortunately, we have come to the maximum amount of time set aside under this particular agenda item. There are still nine other individuals that signed up to speak, and we will uh, call you up under agenda item number seven, but we have a couple significant items between now and then, and a lot of uh, the people that signed up signed up to talk about busking as well as ban the bag. Just to help express your opinion here this evening so that you don't have to stick through the entire meeting, those that have not, signed, uh, have not spoken but did sign up to speak about busking, if you could raise your hand just to show council how many other people were here to speak about busking. Okay, thank you. And then those that are here to speak about banning plastic bags, if you could raise your hand if you have not had an opportunity to speak. Okay, thank you. And then there were two other individuals, one uh, speaking about living forward is the comment, and the other one is home free folks and occupation. So again, we will return to the list of people that have signed up to speak under agenda item seven, but I think we had a, a good idea of uh, the dominant items uh, that many of you wanted to speak about this evening. So now I'll turn it over to council members for comments, questions, or directions. Um, so let me uh, just address the, um, the busking issue here for a second. We had a meeting on October tw uh, uh, 17th of the Land Use and Environment Committee where we were hoping to take testimony from those of you who are concerned about the busking issue and nobody showed up. Uh, I reported out on it. Uh, I, we had advertised it on the um, website. Uh, uh, I had spoken about it uh, before, uh, and uh, we had announced that we would be having a meeting about this. So I'm not sure what happened, but obviously there was a serious miscommunication. So one thing that I look forward to doing with all of you that are interested in the busking issue, because I do think that this is something that we should resolve, and it's just not something uh, I don't feel like fighting because I don't think there's anything to fight over. I think there's a huge amount of agreement here. And so let's figure out a way to make this thing happen. But obviously there was a misunderstanding about our meeting because we were ready to go and you guys weren't here. So, um, so how are we supposed to stand? It's my turn to talk right now. And uh, so anyway, I'm happy to have another meeting with the Land Use and Environment Committee meeting with those of you who are interested in this. Um, in the meantime, what we've done at the meeting that uh, nobody attended, um, we uh, first of all decided that we would uh, put together a busking basics um, pamphlet. And the, con the issues were that basically people can busk anywhere, but you can't interfere uh, with people walking down the street. Uh, the, the thing is that um, uh, we actually are looking forward to developing areas where we would encourage busking, where there would be a shelter where people, uh, where there would be a roof, because obviously it rains here uh, a fair amount, so that people actually have an opportunity to uh, busk and where we would actually want people uh, to do that, because we do agree that this in, sort of incur is something that improves the culture of the city, and, and we would hope that there would be actually more busking rather than less. And, um, and we also um, wanted to make sure that uh, this is something that we keep working on collaboratively rather than making this into a fight, because I don't think this is a fight, and it shouldn't, be, or it sh at least it shouldn't be a fight, and I don't think any of us on the council think it ought to be a fight. If you want to fight, I guess you can, but you're not going to be fighting with us because you're going to find mostly agreement with us. And so I look forward to having a meeting with you later on, and I would ask that um, Steve Hall or uh, Keith Staley add anything else that I haven't uh, uh, put in here. Uh, yes. Mr. Morrow? Yeah, I, I just want to clarify your statement about uh, busking anywhere, and there's some misunderstanding, I think, a, th in a, num a number of different um, groups, both within the city and and uh, people just going around the city, um, the, pe the pedestrian interference and the busking law, the way they are intended to work together, is that busking is allowed anywhere in downtown except for 
where you have the six-foot walkway next to the building. So that's the pedestrian walkway. That's where you get the pedestrian interference issue. If you're outside of that area, you can busk. You don't have to have an area that's designated by the city manager. Uh, there are special areas that are designated by the city manager, but the concept is supposed to be a protection of the pedestrian walkway, which is six feet next to the buildings. Outside of that area, anywhere in downtown, you can busk. And there, there is no, it's, it's actually in the code, so um, I can, that's what the code says. Uh, you don't need a permit. The permits only go to where somebody wants to try to busk within that six foot walkway and the business needs to get a permit just like a business who wants to serve food in that area needs to have a permit to block that off. And if there isn't enough space, then they don't get the permit. So there, there's a misunderstanding and, and I'm, I'm sure there has been some potential misapplication uh, in people thinking that they needed a permit or that they uh, couldn't busk in certain areas and so that was part of the reason for having the meeting was to have people come and try to uh, understand better what the, the current code is. So there is no prohibition against busking in downtown as long as you're not within the six foot walkway. And, and uh, if, if we need to, we'll make it more clear to the police department. Councilmember Rowe, you had follow up comments. Um. Thank you, Mayor Ma. So I also serve on land use as well. And the young gal that was over here, the purple hair, is she gone? Brittany. Brittany, is she gone? Okay. Well, I just wanted to clarify that at the land use meeting, it's not the same setting as this. It's, it's, it is more, it's a conversation. And so we don't just sit up and, and have the, um, for you, the, you don't have the ability to talk to us except in these little segments of time. We actually... We're set to have a conversation and nobody came. And so I was really sad that no one showed up. You were, busking was the only thing on our agenda. Nobody came. I have a list of people who were notified, but apparently um, it, some people say they never did get the message. But I think Steve Friddle, who is, was our, is our city liaison or was in charge of the meeting, supplied us with the people who were notified. And I... I was just really sad because we we want to have a conversation. We wanted to talk about it, and and you guys are very organized and vocal. There's also some businesses downtown that want to have a chance to speak as well. So everyone shares downtown Olympia, and we need to work together. And so I'm hopeful that we can have another land use meeting and have some rational conversation about you know, what can we do? And I hope you guys will attend because we, we need to talk and not just have it be this one-sided where you feel like you're not being listened to because you are. And I do appreciate you, you coming and we all appreciate your music. And um, I, I'm hopeful that we can have another meeting set where people will really know about it and attend and have a, a conversation with us. The second thing is I wanted to thank Rob uh, for, I met with him and James Parabello about the plastic bag issue, and I was very excited. I was prepared to make a referral as well, but I wasn't sure which direction we want to go as a city council, if we wanted it to go to um, land use or SWAC or where we want it to go. But I encourage them to come because it, it, to public mic here tonight or any night because your voices are really heard and um, it's a great way to bring issues to our attention as all of you buskers know and people who would like to ban plastic bags it's a it's a very effective way to to get our attention and and to get things moving so i thank all of you for coming tonight and i look forward to future conversations other council questions or comments direction? Council Member Strood, followed by Council Member Rogers. I, I want to speak a little bit about the busking issue, uh, especially to um, Strife. And I'm sorry, I didn't write down the name of the, I mean, I didn't catch the name of the young man who said he thought we weren't, we were just looking right through you and weren't listening. So I, I, I don't want you to think that. 
And what I want you to understand is that government moves at the pace of government. We, you know, we don't, we don't make really quick decisions and just do things as soon as somebody comes and talks to us. So there's a process, and the process is somebody brings us an idea, we send it to a smaller group of people for further exploration if, if enough of us agree that it's a good idea. And so, Strife, you said you thought we were just shoving you off to the Land Use and Environment Committee and not paying any attention, but, but actually that's the way we work with all new issues. We assign them to a, a committee, a smaller group, that we think, uh, and we have three standing committees, and we can refer them to one of those. And then they can, as, as Councilman Rowe said, have a conversation with the people who care most about that issue and do the deep exploration that we need and then bring it back to the council and say, this is what we think. But they need you to continue to participate. It, it's not just come here and express yourself and then leave because we can't, we can't carry on a conversation with you anymore. We want to include the business people, but if you've dropped out until the next time you want to come in here and talk at the microphone for three minutes, then government doesn't work well that way. And it's not that we don't individually care about your concerns, it's that we have to work within the framework of government, and we're trying. And I told you last time that I supported re repealing the busking ordinance, I still do. But I have to follow the process. And the process got disrupted because people didn't come to the next meeting. So, I mean, I, I'm sorry that you don't want to come to meetings and talk to us, but I wish you would. How do you get the word out? Yeah, like, what you, you was on the it was, if you, if you want us to talk to you, if you want to know when the next meeting will happen, then you can leave your name with Kathy Butler. Kathy, would you raise your hand? She's our communication manager, and she will do the very best she can to make sure she communicates with you. If you want us to send you a mail by the post, or uh, send you an email, or give you a phone call, whatever it takes, we'll do our best to keep in touch with you. But we have to know how you want to be contacted and what you're interested in. So that's all I've got. Councilmember Rogers, you had a question or comment or direction? Well, a question for Steve Hall. What happened with the cameras on the cars, the police cars? We have them. They've not been installed yet because we are working on the regional um, records management system first and then cameras come after that. So it's just a matter of lack in resources to implement all these programs at once. So what would be the timeline to expect them? I don't know that tonight. We are, we're about three months behind on the regional records management system, which is why we're delayed on these others. And that involves Lacey, Tumwater, the county, and others. So I don't have a timeline. I can get you that. Okay, but we're still making we're still making progress on that one. Uh, just one other comment, Democritus. I I love the debate. Oh, there you are. And maybe in about a week and a half from now, we can have a coffee and talk about it. But as far as this direct democracy, this was actually addressed in our Federalist Papers when we started the U.S. Constitution. And all I can say is Federalist Paper Number Ten, and we can start it from there. So um, one of the questions and one of the concerns was around notification as, uh, in terms of the busking ordinances and discussion. And so in conferring with the chair of the land use committee as well as with the city council, uh, the city manager, I'd like to propose that uh, the land use and environment committee and or other interested uh, council members uh, meet Monday, November 7th at 5.30. Now this is kind of inserting ourselves into a process, but I think it, it's important that we kind of address the notification issue that has been explained. And, and as Council Member Rowe has indicated, um, provide an opportunity for a greater dialogue in, in an arena that is different than this. Uh, Council Member uh, Langer is available at that time. Hopefully Council Member Rowe would be available Monday. Uh, the Finance Committee is meeting, so that would create some problems perhaps with um, with Councilmember Rogers, but I do think, as has been indicated, and you've already come before the entire city council, that this is an interest of interest to the entire council. So uh, I'm going to propose that Councilmember um, Rowe has concerns. Well, I just have concerns. If if only Councilmember Langer can make it, 
Would it be better if we could come up with the time where the three of us can meet? I mean, it would be none. I'm not sure I can come um, on the seventh, but I feel like it would be more. Better, it'd be better if there was more than one member there. Right, and I would be uh, uh, working to amend my schedule so that I could participate, and so that we at least have three city council members participating yeah. in, in the discussion. Well, I would really like to continue, though, because I've been part of the conversation, is what I'm saying. But I, I, don't, I don't have my calendar with me for Monday. So we're not able to do this then and uh, schedule something? I'm well, we've never done this before. So I know we've never done we've this We've never before. done it this way before, and I don't have my calendar. So, I mean, that's fine. If you want to do Monday at 530, if that helps for communication, I don't know if I can make it, but if, if this helps to bring you guys in, then... Yeah, I, I just want to, I want to address the notification issue, and that's why I'm trying to propose a time when well, we can I was, and the city manager now has... Some well, let me get, there, there are lots of things happening. I just learned that the planning commission is also meeting here next Monday, so they have one of our rooms, so and the finance committee has the other conference rooms. The only space we'd have would be here, which may be okay, but the, the regularly scheduled land use committee meeting is Monday, November 21st, which is two weeks later, if that's not too late to discuss this issue, then we'd have the room available, but just more complications for you. Councilmember Rogers. Um, for the 21st, if the land use meeting committee is willing to bump that meeting up a week, that would actually work for me because inner city transit, I'm scheduled to attend their citizen advisory committee meeting and, and I would be double booked. So I could try to flip it for the next month but it would just, I was going to ask for this anyway, that we reschedule it. Oh, you're looking to reschedule land use? Committee meeting for this month. If we could bump it up a week early, I don't know if that works for people. From the 21st to the? 14th. 14th, anyhow. <laughs> this could go on for a long time, talking about our calendars. Um, yeah. Just find something different. Um, yeah. Okay, so Council Member Langer. Well, I'm happy to meet um, this coming Monday, the 7th, at 5.30, if other members can be there. But if not, if it's okay with you guys, how about if we meet uh, on the 21st as scheduled, and uh, I hope that you can all come. Here? Um, yeah. Here at City Hall, and hopefully, I don't know if we'll be meeting in this room or not, but it'll be well posted. We won't hide, uh, and hopefully you won't either. So we'll, hopefully you can all come, and it would be at it's at 5:30, um, and it's on on Mondays. So, okay, the 21st. Why don't we just go with that? Um, just well, perfect. So, yeah, and Kathy Butler. Yes, I'll set a sheet out front on the sign-in table if anyone wants to leave their name and how to contact you if you'd like to get an email or something. Just sign up out in front. Okay, so November 21st, it's a Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday? It's a Monday. A Monday, November 21st, 5.30, here at City Hall, busking is on the agenda for the Land Use and Environment Committee, and the Land Use and Environment Committee consists of three city council members, okay? Be there or be square. Okay, so, that's the next meeting, and you'll have an opportunity to engage council members about the issues uh, presented. Uh, I wanted to comment, Democritus has talked about direct democracy, and then we also had uh, three, under, three other individuals talk about uh, voting on a uh, particular referendum. It was anticipated that a voter turnout and voter participation this year was going to be about 50%, and I would... Uh, present to you that if we could get up to 80 percent, then maybe we're making uh, waves toward direct democracy, but in fact, only 25 percent plus one of registered voters can influence the outcome of an election. So we want to encourage more than 50 percent of registered voters to participate. So if we can get out the vote, I think we're making meaningful uh, strides, but as a country that has uh, our, our voting rights and privileges, we do a very poor job of exercising those rights. And so I encourage you all to vote. And as already been noted, there are many important local and state items on the ballot this year. So let's go for more than 50%.
With that, if there are no other comments, questions, uh, direction coming out of public communication, we'll move on the agenda.